Hello everyone. Welcome to our series of studies on keys to an ever increasing faith. Last time we talked about developing our spiritual senses. Today we will continue on the same theme. The word of God tells us that our spirit man has its own senses by which we are able to discern and function in the spirit just like our physical body has physical senses that enable us to function in this physical world. In order to lay a foundation on which we will establish this truth, we need to look at the scriptures that are given to us from Hebrews chapter 5, and we will pick up reading from verse 9 through to verse 14. And having been perfected, speaking about Jesus, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him, called by God as high priest according to the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have much to say and hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God and you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is those who by reason of use or practice have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. The writer of this epistle, is disappointed with the Hebrew believers because they were not growing in faith but remained as spiritual babes. Needing someone again, he says, to take them through and teach them the very foundational principles of the Christian faith. Now, this is a common problem we face in the church today. Believers who have been in the Lord for years have stagnated in their faith and lost their ability to spiritually advance in the things of God. The root cause for this stagnation is diagnosed by the writer in Hebrews in verse 11 of what we just read, when he says to them, you have become dull in your hearing. In other words, what he's saying to them is that they have lost the ability to hear and grasp spiritual truths. The writer is not speaking about their ability to hear physically, but their ability to grasp things in the spirit. For those who have lost this ability, you can only give them milk according to the word of God and not solid food, because solid food belongs to the mature, that is those who have developed their spiritual senses by frequently exercising them. Growing in our faith requires us to exercise and develop our spiritual senses by which we communicate with God, we are able to fellowship with Him in the Spirit as He takes us deeper and higher into the mysteries of the Kingdom of God. The primary way we develop these spiritual senses is through the Word of God. Notice that the writer to the Hebrew says, that those who are unskilled in the word of righteousness are spiritual babies. But those who are skilled and knowledgeable in the word of God are mature and able to receive solid food. Jesus said that the words he speaks to us are spirit and life. In other words, spiritual life is only imparted to us through the word of God. He also said that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The reason we cannot live by bread alone is because we are not just physical beings, but primarily spiritual. Now, our physical bodies feed on physical food and they produce a power called strength. Our minds feed on intellectual food and produce a power that is called willpower. 
Our spirits, though, feed on spiritual food, which is the Word of God, and produce a power which is called faith. The more we feed on the Word of God, the more our spirit man and his senses develop. In our next lesson, we will look at the four primary steps that develop our spiritual senses, which enable us to grasp spiritual truths. Until next time, stay in God's presence and God bless you.